Howdy, howdy. We're talking money. We're talking big numbers. We're talking place value. All right, quick little video for you. So here are the textbook questions we're going to be doing. Um, don't worry about question one. Okay, uh, we're starting on question two. So it says write each number in standard form. So we should be kind of used to that by now. We've been talking about standard form a little bit. Um, but whoa, what the heck do we have here? We've got some kind of a weird decimal number, 5.7 million. Well, that looks confusing off the hop, but what if it was just this? What if it was just 5 million? Well, heck, that's pretty easy to write in standard form. We have 5 millions, zero thousands, zero ones. So 5 million, easy peasy. But now, if I have that 5.7 million, we can see that that 0.7 is just the next place value. So that would be your hundred thousands. So to write 5.7 million, yeah, it's still 5 million, but that 0.7 is just the next place value right there. So 5.7 million in standard form is actually 5,700,000. Cool. So that's how you work with these big numbers when they're written as a decimal number. We just have to keep in mind what period they're telling us, right? It's 5.7 million. Well, we know that that five is going to be in the one millions. If say they had, instead of 5.7, let's do something bigger. Let's go, oh, I don't know, 101.2 million. Okay. Well, I've got 101 millions and that 0.2 is the next place value. So that'd be 200 thousands and zero ones. Cool. Okay. Well, what if they did this? This one's going to be a little bit funky. Let's go 3,201.7 million. Okay. Well, now I've got 3,000, over 3,000 millions. Holy smokes. Well, how does that work? Well, let's start writing some numbers, shall we? And I'm not going to use any spaces just yet. I'll use commas to split this up a little bit better. So 3,201.7 point seven millions. Holy smokes. Well, if I'm thinking the millions period, I know that there's only hundreds, tens, and ones. So where would my hundred millions place value be? Well, since I know that there's only three place values, right? 3,201 million. This has to be the ones millions. This would be the tens. This would be the hundred millions. So after the hundred millions, there's no such thing as thousand millions. This would actually be the one billions place. So let's make a big comma here and a comma here because this is the billions period. We've got ones, tens would be there, hundreds would be there. And then we'll split that off. We've got the millions period right there. Hundreds, tens, ones. And then we've got the thousands period. Yep, you betcha. And we'll fill in the rest of these zeros as placeholders. And we've got our ones period. Zero, zero, zero. Awesome. So when you have a thousand millions, it actually, we can say it is a thousand million. That works. But we can also read it as 3,201,700,000. Okay. Same thing works like this. Let's say I had... 2,500 thousands. I'm just going to write TH for thousands. Well, how the heck would I put that in? Well, here's my thousands period. I know it's going to be split up into hundreds, tens, ones. So which number should go where? Well, if this is 2,500 thousands, the 500, yeah, it's 500. That two is the next place value up. So it's no longer actually in that thousands period. It's in the millions period. It'd be in that one millions period. So whenever you have a, th a thousand or more thousand, thousands, we know that it's bumping up. In so let's finish off this big number. We've got our ones there, 110 ones, zero, zero, zero. So we can really look at numbers in a lot of different ways. Instead of saying 2,500,000, we could read it as 2,500 
thousands. So consider that as you're working through your workbook page, and then when you finish that, you've marked it, you've shown me, working on this textbook page and its questions, keep that in mind, right? We can, we can think of numbers in different kinds of ways, right? I, I could think of 356 as 356 ones. But if I just wanted to look at tens, well, I've got five tens, that would be 30 tens, so 35.6 tens. Or heck, I could even think of it as hundreds. I'll just put HU for hundred. Well, I've only got three hundreds. That must mean it's 0.56. Okay. So we're going to play around with these patterns. We're going to learn how to read these numbers in different ways. Okay. So let's dig in. Let's have some fun today. See you later.